welcome back. Back down for another fishing session. Air temperature today is actually very, very warm for the northeast of England. It is about 18 or 19 degrees, possibly more. Flies all over the garden, all sorts of butterflies, beetles, everything's flying around in my garden. Come down the river, it's a little bit more quiet. The water is still cold. And because the fish rely on their environment to digest their food, they're cold-blooded, so the warmer the water, the faster they digest the food, the more they feed. It's cold, and even though they might be watching fly after fly after fly go past, they're thinking, you know, I'm still full off that last meal, can't digest it quickly. Because of that, it's not much rising, but they'll be there. All it takes is a little hatch of olives to come down the river, and I'm sure the odd one will come up. And if the odd one comes up, I'll be able to catch it, or at least I'll have a chance of catching it. So I'm going to try here for a little bit, then I'm going to go back to the place where I missed what I thought was a really good fish yesterday. I just saw this huge mouth come out, I whipped the fly out way too quick, pulled it straight out of its mouth. Hopefully that fella will be feeding today, I would love to see how big that one is. I was just creeping down to fish the top of that big long pool there and out of nowhere came a huge black and white mega duck of death goosander <laughs> straight through the top of the pool the fish would have just scattered if they were there in the first place that's three times in a row I've seen goosanders on the river now they murder the fish Just seen a fish rise further up, so I'm gonna have a go for that. And it looked like a decent one. I'm gonna have to crawl through all the nettles again to keep down under the skyline, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Well, I couldn't get much closer to the water here. I'm practically kneeling in it. I wanna keep myself as far down as possible. Because the water's quite shallow, I don't want the fish to see me against the skyline. So I've crawled along here on my hands and knees to get to this point. There is a couple of fish rising. Not very often though, just about uh, the, in that direction somewhere, downstream. So what I'm going to do, instead of just letting a wet fly go down and then bring it across where the fish are, I'm going to float a dry fly down because I like to catch on the top. And hopefully they'll see it, take it, and I'll catch a fish. I am casting into a bit of a wind which isn't perfect for casting, but it means that on that final cast, the fly gets blown back a little bit, so it doesn't get as affected by the drag. So that's a good thing. Get in, that was miles away. Feels like a nice fish as well, and that was absolutely miles away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got some life in it, this fella. There we go. Fly still in its mouth. Maybe he's, I don't know, 14, 15 inch fish. It's a good size. Nice hungry fish. Nice hard fighting fish. His reward, freedom. Well, I've managed to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat once again. 
wasn't much rising, but I saw that big fish rise towards the top end of this pool. I went up, and really the first decent cast that I put over it, boom. I'm pleased about that, and that's the biggest one so far this year. I think anybody would be pleased with that actually, because this river is not known for producing big fish. I only had about an hour available to come down the river, so I practically ran down here, fished a few pools, luckily caught a really nice fish, and now I'm going to run back before the kids get back from school, because I've got plenty of jobs to do. Thanks for watching, catch you next time. So what I'm going to do instead of just letting it dry, so what I'm going to do instead of just wet, let Interesting to see what this is. Well that was a greedy little fella. I don't normally fish my pond. Thought I would give it a go. And here we've got a little rud. Very bonny little fish. They eat a lot of these in Eastern Europe. And these get to about a foot long, 14 inches maybe. This is just a little and part of a shoal, so I'm going to put them back. Right, I've satisfied my curiosity. I won't be catching any more of them. <laughs> there we go. Fly still in its mouth. Maybe he's, I don't know, 14, 15 inch fish. It's a good size. Nice hungry fish.